Okay, question number 21 in the book of questions. It says here, if evidence of intelligent life elsewhere in the universe were discovered, would it alter your core beliefs or sense of self? Well, no, it wouldn't alter my core beliefs, as I believe there is intelligent life elsewhere in the universe. Uh, I think that the odds of it not being there is too long. Uh, given what information has been coming to light over the past 20 years with the discovery of exoplanets and uh, other, th other things that have been in the news, I think it's unlikely that life hasn't developed elsewhere. And if life is developing elsewhere, uh, there's a pretty good chance, if it's around long enough, that it will uh, develop to a level of intelligence. Of course, we don't know exactly what the odds of all of that happening is just yet, but, you know, I, I really think it's that uh, uh, intelligent life elsewhere is going to be found, evidence at least for it, so that wouldn't uh, surprise me in the least. Um, and would it affect my sense of self? Well, no, why would it? Uh, my sense of self is not predicated on being the most important thing in the universe or being part of the master race or the only race or anything like that. Uh, so it wouldn't affect my sense of self at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'd be absolutely thrilled if we found this, this evidence because the whole we're not alone thing would be, <clears throat> well, I guess comforting on some level. Uh, but really, a simple answer to that, uh, would it affect my core beliefs or sense of self? Well, no, it wouldn't. Uh, this one has a follow-up. It says, what if instead it demonstrated that we were the only intelligent life in the galaxy? Well, that is, uh, that is an interesting thought, uh, but it really wouldn't change anything because I don't know that there's intelligent life out there. I just believe there, there must be. And if it turns out we're alone, it doesn't really change anything because uh, we already, it already looks like we're alone from what we can see. So uh, it wouldn't affect day-to-day -day life at all, uh, but it would, uh, would it affect anything else? Well, no, I, I don't think it would, because the existence of uh, intelligent life elsewhere in the galaxy or elsewhere in the universe, and I think they're using the two terms interchangeably here incorrectly, but... Uh, if there's no other intelligent life in the galaxy, then we're effectively alone in the universe, given the vast distances between galaxies. But uh, if there is evidence, if we can demonstrate that we're alone in the galaxy, if we're the only ones, then, you know, it's still, I, I, I don't think that necessarily uh, changes anything, because... Uh, there is the, the, the possible situation where we might be alone because we're the first. And if we happen to be alone in the galaxy, then maybe we are the great old ones that science fiction likes so much. Uh, and maybe there will be other life to come after us, intelligent life, that will find the artifacts we leave behind and wonder about the great old ones that have disappeared from the galaxy. So just because we're currently alone in the galaxy doesn't mean that we always will be or that no other intelligent life will ever show up. So I, you know, I don't think it would change anything is because uh, just because we have no evidence for intelligent life currently I don't think it necessarily means that there will never be other intelligent life. After all, we have a precedent for intelligent life happening. So it happened once, that means that it's at least possible that it could happen again. So there you go. Uh, really, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Are we alone in the universe or are we alone in the galaxy or not? I don't think it changes anything. Uh, my day-to-day -day life would be unaffected. Uh, my core beliefs might be shaken slightly by the 
by actual demonstration that there's no other intelligent life in the galaxy, but I don't think it would make all that big of a difference. And uh, otherwise, uh, why would it affect what I think of myself, you know, my sense of self? Uh, uh, just because so now today we know something we didn't know yesterday, that doesn't change who I am. And I don't think it would affect how I see myself either. So. Uh, really, I I guess there's really no no real alteration there. Uh, and it, really, what else is there to say about that? So I guess I'll I'll leave it there. Um, you know, the usual like, comment, subscribe thing applies. And of course, uh, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.